Hello everyone and welcome to my new Unity 3D tutorial. This will be about Unity uh, networking and pretty much a advanced Unity networking, I would say. So let's get started by creating a new project and name it, for example, Unity tutorial. Basically, you know, name it whatever you want. So uh, this will be a 3D project. For you who have the Unity that uh, Unity 4 that plus whatever it is version. So uh, let's add skyboxes. Uh, and yeah, okay. This will take some time for my computer. So let me pause it. So that's our Unity, and let's create a folder for our scenes and save this our scene as the scene for the channel and save it. So uh, now we're going to create a script. Uh, basically JavaScript uh, which will be the main menu and the username uh, text field and next uh, in the next stage it will uh, have to create his own uh, room or join a new room but I will explain you for these things later so create a new folder scripts Uh, let's keep it organized because we will mess up, mess up uh, in the future. So let's we don't need that. So oh, we need that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm the best. So now money and create a new JavaScript and it may menu. Oh, uh, by the way, this will be a computer game for Windows, basically, um, standalone. So yeah. Uh, so let's drag it on our main camera, and let's put the skybox just to make it to make this look some better. And uh, let's put. Something like that. Yeah. And let's open that up. So let's get rid of this pragma strict. It's useless for this for now. So we don't need these functions, we need the function on GUI, which are which is the buttons uh G guide labels and stuff like that so we will be working on G guide layout not creating our own rect because this uh, will take some time so let's create a vertical uh, group so G guide layout dot vertical dot begin vertical yeah and let's give it a texture gui that skin that box and let's close it here right so now you'll notice that if you run your game you will see um, a little thing on the top of your screen and that's because you don't, we don't have added uh, anything to the vertical group 
So let's start and you guys live before we start. So uh join uh, or join lobby. This will be a this button options. We won't uh, work on that on these tutorials. I uh, will work on this later. So yeah, and another for exit button or oh, quit. Call it whatever you want to. And let's check that. And let's do that. Welcome to the we are known here. Okay. Yep, that sounds good. And let's try Welcome to the unknown game. Join the group. Oh. What? Oh, maybe. Sorry about that. This has to be a button. And let's save again. Okay, so join login, join lobby options, and exit button. And let's do the exit uh, line. So application dot quit. Uh, this will be empty for now, and this uh, it will enable the username uh, selector. And let's do enable. Let's make a, a boolean variable that will enable uh, the user to type his username. So enable user name selector. And this will be a boolean and by oh my god and by default uh it's false just in case so if he press the join lobby this will uh be true and by the way make if a uh, if statement if uh, not a username selector, which means something like that. If username selector is equal to false, but all right, yeah. So here we need to copy our to, to copy these lines to cut it basically and paste it there. So what? We have done right now. If the user press the join lobby, uh, this will set to true. The join lobby, the enable username selector. Sorry, and then all this stuff will uh, disable from our screen. And here we will ena we will um, enable the username selector, and let's make that. A lobby that tells the user to enter his username. Let us the username. And let's create a bug button. So, bug. Maybe business enter is equal to false. Great. Um, we have one minute left. So let's check what we have done right now. So if you press exit, your game will exit, but we're on on, on the expect inspector, so it can't uh, close the game. Anyway, so if you press join lobby, please enter username and back button join lobby. 
and you can take the whole process on the inspector right here so as you can see enable username is equal to false so it shows all these buttons and when it's true it's uh, it, it's uh, show you all these things the button and the GI level so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and see you on the next tutorial